Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader Guide Argenta Guide Argentina Build Argenta is your main damage output in the game An absolutely crazy character The very first ability you'll receive as Argenta would be Run and Gun. You shoot for free and you can move tiles and go into half cover, full cover and whack enemies with a small penalty. Extremely good keystone feature on Argenta. On level 2 you wanna learn Demolition. On level 3 she will receive Revel in Slaughter. When she kills 3 enemies you just click Revel in Slaughter and for 1 action point you are gonna gain additional damage, additional critical hit damage and additional dodge. One of the best skills in the game, especially for a marksman. On level 4 Argenta receives Military Excellence Ulti. Whenever you have military excellence, do not hesitate to use it. You shoot as many times as your weapon's rate of fire. So basically, the bigger in the item description, the bigger the rate of fire is, the stronger Argenta ulti is. Because Argenta is a bolter user and I know a lot of players will say how you can play with Melta, how you can play with Flamer and so on. Look at the portrait, she's holding a bolter. And when I say use a bolter, trust me, use a bolter. And that means you're gonna learn Bolt Weapon Expert for a 10% additional armor penetration. And you will equip two bolters at the same time on Argenta. Not a bolter and a flamethrower, not a bolter and melta, two bolters, if you can. And later on we're gonna prepare Argenta with a classic mini bolter and a huge bolter. Okay, so go for the bolter. After the bolt weapon expert, we're gonna go with ballistic skill. Always take ballistic skill whenever possible. The higher the ballistic skill, the more often you'll hit with Argenta and you wanna hit cause you'll be using burst fire non freaking stop. And we are preparing Argenta to become an arch militant. For the talent, we're gonna take unpredictable on Argenta. The bigger the agility on Argenta, the more often she'll crit and you wanna crit a lot with Argenta cause she hurts especially with burst fire. On the next level we take ballistic skill again and we're gonna take rapid fire. Instead of firing 4 bullets with your bolter, you're gonna fire 8 once you click on rapid fire. One of the best skills you can take on Argent. For the next level we're gonna take agility, raise her dodge and enhance crit chance. For the talent 2, tier 2 talents, we're gonna take Nimble, enhance dodge even further. On the next level, we're gonna upgrade Rapid Fire over here with Bullet Hill. In other words, your Rapid Fire won't mitigate damage anymore, you're gonna deal exactly as you're supposed to deal without a penalty from Rapid Fire. So your burst attacks will hurt like crazy. For the skill check, we're gonna take Demolition. And you always wanna take Demolition with Argenta from this point on, when available of course. For the ulti upgrade we're gonna take upgrade 3. Very simple, you'll hit more often and you'll have additional penetration on enemies. Very very good upgrade on Argenta and Argenta's ulti. And now because Argenta is swallowing ammo, because you're gonna use bursts non-stop and then run a gun to play again and then the officer gives her an extra turn, you run out very fast. Okay, and you need to reload, reload, cast two or three action points with rapid reload. It's going to be free for the first time and then it costs two action points less from that moment on. It's gonna only cost one action point to reload the weapon. It's a must and you have to do it, especially while playing on Unfair. For the characteristic upgrade, we're gonna take agility. Again, additional crit chance and additional dodge. And for the final ability we will get dash. I'll explain how dash works later on. 
For the skill check, this time we will take awareness, because demolition is not possible at this moment. And you want awareness, so you have someone in your team that can spot hidden stuff around you. And the next thing that you want to learn would be perception. After that, it would be swift movements. We give extra movement points to Argenta. Movement is as equally important in Rogue Trader as action points. I can say action points are a slightly bit more important, but still, movement points are extremely important. So that's why the swift movements. For the next level, we're gonna learn second skin. Medium armors won't apply penalty to dodge anymore, which means Argenta will be tankier in medium armor, and she's gonna dodge more often because there won't be any penalty. Very good talent. And for the tier 2 talents, we're gonna take Grenadier, so you can whack a grenade for free. Alright, Grenadier is useful on every single companion in the game. For the final talent, we're gonna take It Will Not Die. And we're gonna raise maximum wounds on Argenta, or better to say health. And for the last one, we're gonna take Awareness. The last level is Ulti Upgrade in the Marksman Arch type, and we're gonna take Upgrade 2, increase the rate of fire. Again, the bigger the rate of fire is on Marksman, especially on Argenta, the stronger she is, you want huge rate of fire. And this provides it with ulti. Your ulti will hurt a lot. What items do we want on Argenta? We want critical chance, critical damage, we want medium armor, we want bolters, and we want utility items that can provide awareness or demolition. And that's about it. The stats that are green, that's the one you want to go for. All of the stats that you see that are higher, 80, 80, 70, 50, 50, those are the stats that you want on Argenta. And on all Argenta gear, basically. Now, how do we play Argenta as a marksman? First, you want to hang onto a half cover or full cover. Then you want to trigger rapid fire and then you want to use burst and then you want to use run and gun and then you want to use single attack that's the combo main combo for argenta you got rapid fire burst run and gun single shot and repeat if you have an officer you can always trigger revel of slaughter once you kill three enemies you hurt even more that's it for Argenta. Once you have that ship, if enemies get close to Argenta, you can move out. You don't trigger attacks of opportunity, and then you shoot enemies again. It's zero action points. It's extremely good, and there is no second thoughts about it. It's a must. This is your escape mechanism. Also, if you can't reach some enemies with a bolter, sometimes when you waste all of your movement points, you will be able to get line of sight and shoot when you use dash. Okay, do not hesitate to use Argenta's ulti, especially when there's a lot of enemies, because she deals a lot of AoE damage. And with this ulti, you want to whack a bullet into every enemy and keep the last time, the last time available to fire for the burst attack. So it's single shot, single shot, single shot into burst fire. That's the maximum output of ulti. And you want to whack every enemy that you can with one single shot so you score multiple crits. When do you use Warhem to gain momentum? When you gain momentum, you can use ulti more often. Okay, now how do you use Warhem when enemies are close by? So you have maximum amount of momentum. Or better to say, get that ulti faster. Do not use Warhem outside of enemies, okay, only when they get close. That would be it for the prologue and act one for Argenta. Again, if it works on Unfair, it will work on all other difficulties as well. She is your main damage output in the game. You want to have an officer to support Argenta, and then you're gonna see how much she actually deals. We're gonna continue this for act two and three when Argenta becomes an arch militant. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.